fight we're making. Devin is telling the people that his people, this is the fight that he's making, and we don't have no problems. You know what I mean? We don't exactly, let yeah. we don't I, let, I don't we don't have let no none of the shit all. get aside get us let, and we don't let nothing get get, get a sidetrack. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, no, yeah. no, this fight is definitely gonna be made because at the end of the day it's it's what I say and it's what Devin Haney says. And uh yeah. I think that we're both on the same on, on the same position. Um I uh, you know you know how the boxing game works, man. I respect both you and Devin Haney. Yeah. Um, you got you got to talk that <laughs> shit. You got to back it up, and that's Appreciate that's what we're it, both on right now, man. It's it's just all love at the end of the day. But we know that we got to we got to excite the fans, and we got to give give the fans what they want to see. And oh, um, absolutely. at the end that's of the day, what? man, when we're in that ring, man, when we're in that ring. It's blood, sweat, and tears, man. So it's it's anything goes once you're inside that ring. So I'm just very very excited. Once we get the yeah. opportunity to go out there and put on a great performance, man, it's gonna be a brilliant performance, and uh, I, I I'm really looking forward to it. I'll be healthy and, and ready to go by maybe um, early November, uh, late November, so we can make something happen. Okay. All right. Hey, 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 listen. Well, why is Ryan Garcia and them saying that they, and I know that they're not trying to fight you, so I know that they're going the wrong, another direction. Am I wrong or am I right? Man, you, what, you know Ryan Garcia's a bitch, man. Ryan Garcia okay. be saying All that right. he's fighting Manny Pacquiao. Okay. But he's not He's not even trying to fight you, though, right? Me, <laughs> nah, nah. Clear that up, right? I, I, yeah, I, I never, I never got a, I never got any. The, the only, the only person that has contacted me was Mike Coppinger from ESPN, stating that they wanted to fight and stuff. But I never heard personally from Ryan Garcia. He's never called me out or anything. So all that, I, yeah. I feel like all that's just baloney. It's all, it's all jibber jabber. All right. You and De hey, hey, listen, you and Devin the shit, and we ain't gonna let nobody kill it with none of that bullshit, none of them hypotheticals and them possibilities. You know what I mean? You and Devin is the next big fight that's gonna happen in boxing. I'll be healthy and, and ready to go by maybe um, early November, uh, late November, so we can make something happen. Okay. All right, now, it's been a lot of rumors going around. <laughs> and I hate to say rumors because a lot of the stuff you hear from the boxers themselves. But it's been a lot of conversation, I'll put it like that, on Twitter between Devin Haney and JoJo Diaz. And, um, I mean, we heard it ourselves. Jojo Diaz did indeed call out Ryan Garcia after he beat Harvey at Fortuna. Um, but beyond that, after that happened, we heard a lot of chatter, a lot of going back and forth between Devin Haney and Jojo Diaz. Then you had uh, Michael Carpenter, as Jojo Diaz brought up, put it out there on ESPN as well, put it out there that Ryan Garcia and Jojo Diaz were supposed to be in deep negotiations. Now, Jojo Diaz is disputing that. He said the only person that talked to him was indeed Michael Carpenter. So, boxing seems to have this issue all the time where you got to sift through a lot of the crap. It's kind of almost like the NFL draft when you hear pre-draft reports that this team is looking to get this player that team is looking to get that player. You got to be able to bob and weave and sift through a lot of this mess. Really, that's why I personally, I mean, I'll do a video about a fight that's that's supposedly being uh, discussed or whatever, but I prefer to do videos now at this point anyway about fights that I know is going to happen because they were signed, sealed, and delivered. Well, not delivered, but signed and sealed. And, and will be delivered. And even then, you never know. I mean, hence, look at what's going on with the Wilder Fury situation. Look what's going on with the Teofimo Lopez, uh, George Cambosa situation. You you just kind of, you never know, man. Until, like, me personally, like I said, when you start hearing official announcements and press conferences and stuff like that, that's normally when, I, when I'm ready to really start getting into it. But like I said, with this COVID stuff, even now, you just, you really don't know. But I'm hoping that this fight will happen. You heard the discussion between between Bill Haney and uh, JoJo Diaz. To me, it just, it makes sense. If you're JoJo Diaz, what does Ryan Garcia have to offer that Devin Haney don't? You're actually going to get paid more to fight Devin Haney and you're fighting for a title. That just makes more sense. So hopefully we'll get that uh, that fight sometime in the fall or maybe the early winter, who knows. 
But uh, that's pretty much all I got this hair busting boxes on. Fight Doctor, hit that like button. Oh, matter, matter of fact, you know what? Shout out to the uh, to the Boxing Voice. Uh, you can get that entire uh, interview on the Boxing Voice. And uh, that's pretty much all I got this hair busting boxes on. Fight Doctor, I am out.